Peter McKinnon backpack, you know we gotta do a Peter McKinnon intro. What's up everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have here the Peter McKinnon backpack. I hope that intro was pretty good though, by the way, it's just whatever. Uh, we've got the Peter McKinnon backpack here from Nomadic, as you guys can see. And uh, this is my first round. I'm hoping everything's good, but we'll see. We'll see later. Um, I got this guy up here recording as well, although I know it probably only sees my hand and that's it. Um, anyways, the reason why I'm making this video guys is because uh, everyone that has made a video on this backpack so far are people that got this backpack so that they can kind of show it off ahead of time. And this is legit, legit the backpack you will receive if you ordered from the Kickstarter. So without any further ado, let's, let's, let's open this. Cause I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I know y'all are excited. I got my trusty, uh, 49ers, uh, blade right here that I use. See if this guy can, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is what I'm going to be using to open it. Uh, so if you guys ain't 49ers fans, I do apologize, but you know, got to represent your team. There we go. Open this guy over here as well. Always cut away from you guys as well. By the way, I hope everyone's doing good during this outbreak uh, pandemic stuff that's going on. Uh, I know I'm a school teacher full time and I have not been able to go to work. But this guy came in and now I'm excited because I have something to do while I'm here. All right. There we go. Oh my God. Okay. So let's open this up. I know my top camera can't see this amazingness right here, but look at this amazingness. Record it as best as you can. I'll show you guys right now. All right, let me get this out so you guys can see. By the way, this backpack is going to be ginormous on me. I can already tell. Let me go ahead and grab this right on out of here. Okay, enough with this box. Oops, I just hit my camera up at the top. Put that in here, back there somewhere. It's got a little paper. What is this paper? Shipping stuff, y'all don't need to see that. I'll get this right up out of here. There we go. All right, so for starters, Peter McKinnon logo right here on the top. That looks freaking awesome. And I'm just gonna point it out there and let you guys know this in itself is a pretty good useful bag. Like I'll probably be reusing this <laughs> to like hold other items, you know, let me throw more clothes in here or something, but nice reusable zipper. And now the actual backpack itself. Woo, look at that. Oh my God, everyone. I never thought that like, I'd have this right in front of me. Look at that. Peter McKinnon signature. That's freaking amazing. All right, from Nomadic, of course. So let's show you guys, all right? So you all, you all have seen the backpack, right? So I'm not gonna go into too much detail of how the backpack looks and all that. There's plenty of videos out there showing it. I just wanna show you the actual finished result, the way it's actually meant to look like when you yourself get it. So we have, you know, your little bags here that's supposed to hold things and all right. So this is actually a small little pocket in here. Yep. Pretty good. Oh, that's, that's cool. And it's got multiple pockets in there. Yeah. So just, yeah, you've seen videos of this stuff. I want to see the magnetic parts. Oh yeah. See? So that's magnetic. So remember they kept saying in all the videos, like the finished product was gonna be magnetic. So there it is, magnetic right there. This will allow you to like hold your water bottle or maybe like dunk in there like a tripod or something like that. But I'm using my tripod right now. Actually, as a matter of fact, I was thinking, I'm like, ah, oh, I should go get my tripod. And then I just like, I see it standing right in front of me. Um, then we've got one with a zipper over here. That's kind of hard, a little bit to open. Uh, oh, this is cool. This is for the side entrance. Uh, actually, I've, I've forgotten a lot of what the backpack is supposed to have. Uh, 
Let's see, we'll open this guy right here. This opens all the way. So this is the really cool one. This is the one that's meant to like hold the, uh, you know, your clothes. If you're going somewhere, you have areas to put most of your clothing. You have stuff to put all your uh, little essentials. I did not order all the, the extra little baggies, like the one for your filters or to carry your little shampoosies and stuff. Uh, I didn't order those bags. I mean, this was expensive enough, but it's totally well worth it. This is how I justified my cost. I hope that little hit on the microphone didn't do anything. This is how I justified my cost. I was like, hmm, this backpack's around $300. $500, $600 with all the extra stuff. This is too much. I can't be spending money on that. And then I thought to myself, well, there's girls out there that spend over $1,000 on a little tiny Louis Vuitton bag that's this big. Yeah, I can spend $300 on this. That's the way I saw it. I love it. And now I'm glad I did it. Uh, so we've got this huge bag. Come on, guys. This thing has, like, they thought of everything. Every single little thing in here is here. So let's go ahead and close this one up. Because this is not going to be used. And unfortunately, my cameras right now are recording. Got one up top that's probably recording just hands. Because it's probably not even in focus. And then the other one that's recording me at the moment. So... Not much in the in this in the department of being able to put things in here, but uh, uh, upside down, right, is how you get to put the other stuff. So let's go ahead and open this one up. They are hard zippers, by the way. It is kind of not as easy as you would think to open these zippers up. There you go. Uh, it is. It feels sturdy and heavy and it's definitely like gonna keep your gear inside protected uh oh look what is this i don't remember this what is this little thingy oh i know what this is uh you know what i probably shouldn't open it this i believe is a cover right so that like a water resistant cover I'm going to assume that's what it is because it looks very well packaged and I do not want to, you know what, for the video. Let's do it for the video. Let's all find out exactly what it is. I believe this is to cover up the backpack so that when it rains, yep, that's exactly what it is. It is a nice nylon water resistant, cover so that you can cover up your backpack if you're ever caught in rain and you can go ahead and just protect all your expensive gear and your expensive backpack too right uh so this is going to be a pain to put back so i'm going to put that off to the side uh, let's see we've got some little straps here i do not know where i would be using these at the moment or what they're for but um uh, That's cool. Um, yeah, at the moment, I have no idea where I would use these. I don't remember the video seeing like what this is for. Look at this, by the way, guys. Pure McKinnon branding right here. Ah, oh, this is so cool, guys. Come on. Look at this. Woo! Ooh, I could definitely fit my laptop there as well. That's actually really big. Um, is it just the one pocket? Yeah, it is. All right, cool. Um, let me see what we have in here. All right, so this is the little tiny baggie. Uh, the one that can fit, if I'm not mistaken, let me see how you open this. I wanna do it the right way. Yeah, so this is the one that can hold, you know, some more gear. My cameras, the way, I have the Sony a7R 3 and the Sony a7 III and uh, I would definitely, I think I could probably put both cameras in here with like the lens on the side. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe one, uh, for sure a camera with a lens will fit or a camera with an extra lens. I can definitely fit in there. And then this is also the one that turns into like a little mini backpack. So you can open this one. Yeah, this one I was like, for sure, I got to get this one. So that's cool. I'm not going to go ahead and open that right now because I don't need the mini backpack. Um, but that's freaking awesome. 
So anyways, this is how it looks like from the inside. So let me go ahead and show you guys. I love that I've never had a backpack that's like this expensive guys like my backpack for the longest time has been like an Amazon bag that came free when I ordered some some memory cards or I don't know what I got I ordered some camera equipment and they gave me a free backpack and I was like hell yeah I'll take it and that's the backpack I've been using since forever uh, but yeah man like this is this is really 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 cool um it has so many, so much space. And so for me, I'm going to go ahead and put this on because I'm 4'11 and I'm pretty short and this is a huge backpack. And so I want to see, show you guys how it actually fits on me. But I want you all to keep in mind one thing that I did not buy this backpack intended to me to carry it around. I know most people would want it to travel and stuff like that. And, and then when you're out and about, carry all your gear in there. That's not how I roll whenever I'm out and about doing photo shoots. Because when I'm doing photo shoots, I always carry with me my strobe light, which is a Flashpoint 600. It's the big one, the heavy one. And then I also carry around my C-stand and I carry around my, my umbrellas and, uh, or soft boxes, as you would say and then my cameras, and then my flashpoint is inside its own bag. So I carry a lot of equipment with me. What I wanted was something big enough so that I can put the majority of my stuff in here. And then from there, I put it on a wagon. And I'll show you guys some behind the scenes. I'll take this stuff outside so you guys can see how it works and how I plan to use it. And I'll record myself walking around with it outside and stuff like that. So you guys can kind of see some cool stuff with it. But let me just put it on right now so you guys can see how it would look on me being that I am 4'11". Get that, guys. I'm, I'm tiny. I'm a tiny person. Let's go ahead and close this up. Let's go ahead and open this. And then this is removable, right? If I remember correctly. Uh, so I don't foresee myself using that, but let's just put it on with it so you guys can see how it looks. Yeah, this thing's almost the size of me. It definitely fits me ginormous. This will be needed to be adjusted completely. Like, look at this. Look at this entire thing right here. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely adjust this. But let me move the table a little bit forward. There you go. So this is how it looks on me. Um, I could tell you right now, it is, it is a, a comfy build. But I'll tell you right now that I can already see like this would hurt on long carries. Like if we were carrying around this thing for like a good 40 to 30 minutes with weight i mean this thing alone already feels heavy and if you start adding on like camera gears and microphones and your drone and stuff and you want to walk around all day carrying this thing this is ex this is heavy this is definitely going to be a heavy backpack but other than that i mean i mean the the build quality from everything that i've owned feels amazing I can't see how it looks like, but I assume it looks huge. You guys can be the judge of that and let me know. Uh, but that's that's how it looks like. So yeah. And of course I have to adjust these. Uh, I remember there was some things that you could pull or something like that. From each side. And then, oh, well these ones have to be adjusted all the way. So yeah, I've got a lot of adjusting to do, but I'll do that in a little bit and then I'll take it outside so you guys can see me walking around with it and you guys can see it out. And then I'll open things up and I'll actually have camera gear inside so you guys can see how it looks like. But that's it for this little review. I just wanted to show you guys the backpack and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions of what you wanna see on the actual legit Peter McKinnon backpack, then just let me know and I'll go ahead and make another video to show you guys that. And as always, Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you like what you see. And if you want to see some more videos, I don't make them that often, but feel free to subscribe. I'll make videos every once in a while. It's not like a, a job. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.
So as you guys can see, I'm currently wearing the Peter McKinnon uh, Nomadic backpack. Let me take this off real quick, bring this over to my side. Now, as you guys can see right here, it sits next to me. It is a really big backpack and I just wanna let you guys know that um, it has its purposes. Uh, as I was walking around with it, uh, one of the one things that I see or determine, uh, it's very heavy, it's big, uh, definitely not the most comfortable of backpacks to be carrying around for long purposes. You know what I mean? Like if, let's say for example, there's an event and you wanna take, you know, two of your cameras or something like that, and you wanna um, carry this backpack around, uh, it's gonna be tough. It's, it's gonna be hard to do that. Uh, that's not what it's meant for. But again, like I mentioned, that's not how I intend to use it. I carry around everything in a wagon. And so I want a backpack that can hold the most amount of things so that I don't have to take that many backpacks and cases and things like that and uh, and still be able to just throw that in my wagon and carry it around. And that backpack just does, this backpack does just that. So um, I'm gonna go over it really quick just to guys show you what I have in here so you guys can kind of see and then you guys can be the judge for yourselves. So let me know. So for starters, as I open this up right here, um, you can open this one up. And when you see right here, I'm currently carrying my my MacBook and it fits all entirely, it fits pretty good. I wanna say this is a, maybe the 15 inch MacBook. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, it's Mac, right? Put that guy right back in there. Close that up. And then um, up here in the front, I am currently housing my, oh, there we go. It's magnetic, I forget. My phone has double, uh, double little bags in here so you can hold more than one thing. I uh, have my phone in here, so go ahead and put that guy back in there. Close that up. Uh, I don't have anything in this thing. I still have a lot of space to put more in the in the main compartment, which is the one where you're supposed to put most of your clothes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you, though, what I have. And the main compartment, where all the actual gear goes. And again, I'd love to show you guys like out in the real world, like how it looks like and stuff like that. But due to this whole coronavirus pandemic that's going on right now, I don't want to be out and about. So I'm outside my apartment. You know, it's pretty chill. No one's here. And I'm just kind of showing you guys this. My neighbors. All right. So in here we have uh, my Samsung Bluetooth AirPods and my portable battery. That's what I'm going to be carrying around there. There's still a lot of space in here that, I'm, again, I'm not using yet. Uh, I have my Sony uh, a7 III. My Sony a7R is the one using it to record. So I brought one of the cameras from school, uh, from where I work at, uh, to show you how I can fit both cameras in here. So this one's currently housing an 18 to 35. And this is the FE 1.885 Prime. Uh, mainly because my Sony uses the 24 to 35, I mean, 24 to 28 to 75. I don't know. It's the Tamron one. Um, and so it's about the same size here. I'm also carrying my Gorilla Pod right here. Uh, my triggers, my Godox triggers and my other Godox trigger for both of my cameras. I also have my little case here uh, that I use to carry my memory cards. One of the reasons why I didn't go and buy all the things that came with this backpack is because a lot of the things I have myself, I mean, it's cool to have all this matching gear and stuff, but it's not necessary. Um, so in here, this is still empty. I have not used it. So I still have a ton more space where I could carry so many more things uh, if I was traveling somewhere or something like that. At the moment, the only other things that I'm probably going to be putting here is uh, when I do buy um, another lens. One of the lenses that I do want to buy is the Sony, uh, 70 to 200. Eventually I used to have it for my Nikon and I recently sold all my gear. So, uh, that can fit right here. I can move the gorilla pod to the outside or something else, but there's a ton of space. I have all this right now. If I wanted to put my 70 to 200 over here. So 
Again, my goal is to be able to carry the most gear that I can in one specific backpack so I can just throw that backpack into my wagon and I'm set. I don't need to carry anything else. And the cool thing is when I'm traveling, like whenever, because I live, you don't need to worry about where I live at. <laughs> But like I moved to a bigger city. So whenever I have to go visit my family and stuff, it's, it's quite a long drive. And because of that, I, I always take like, I want to say like three or four bags. That's all camera related stuff. Like one bag where I have my cameras and most my two cameras didn't fit in both bags. So I would always take two backpacks, uh, two backpacks where I would carry both of my cameras and then I'd carry my, Flashpoint gave me this one bag that is pretty big and I used that one. That bag was amazing. I'm glad it came with the with the speed light, but um, they gave me that one bag where I carry both of my uh, Flashpoint lights, my AD400 and my 600, and it's perfect. Um, so I get to use that one for both. And then I take my wagon and my lights and I mean my light stand and my uh, soft boxes and stuff. And so it was a lot of stuff to carry. And then of course my luggage and all that. Now I can just take my clothes in here, my camera gear all in here. So I already got rid of a clothing bag. I already got rid of two bags for, for camera equipment. And on top of that, all the small things I can still add in here. So overall, I'm very pleased. I'm very happy. And plus, come on, it looks freaking amazing. Like look at the quality and everything. It's just so freaking good. Uh, so I'm very excited. I'm very happy with the purchase. And I just wanted to share my excitement with everyone else so that if you were on the fence or anything like that, hopefully my video kind of helps you out and answer some of the questions because I'm not sponsored. So I'm going to tell you as it is, you know, I'm not, I like I purchased this with my own money. So yeah, if, if it's not worth it, I definitely tell you, but um, it's very rugged. It feels like, like, man, this thing can take some, you know? So if you were like, I have a lot of photographer friends that tend to go a lot like on like uh, rainforests and things like that. It definitely would be a backpack to withstand those conditions. Again, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, just hit me up in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you all and peace out. This is uh, with a one-handed strap, guys, just carrying it on one side of my hand. Uh, this is how it looks like if I wanted to put it on over to the other side. I can do this, and this is how it would look like. Uh, again, it is a heavy backpack, uh, but I mean, look at it. It's easily carryable with one, and I'm again, I'm carrying my laptop, my two cameras, and I have a lot of stuff in here to make this like extremely heavy. Then I put it on like this, so this is with two. And again, this strap is removable, but honestly, if you're carrying a lot of stuff, I would not remove this. I just leave it on. I'll put that guy on as well. And there you go. So this is the nomadic Peter McKinnon backpack. That's how it looks like. Again, thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.